Hi everyone, just a quick uh, video to show you around my Brompton. And there it is, uh, my Brompton M6L. As you can see, I've added a few um, extras to it. I've added some easy wheels to it. These aren't the originals. Um, one of the reasons I did that was to see if it rolled better when it was folded. Um, but to be honest, I've not even I've tried it yet, so I don't really know. I've been watching a few videos. I've noticed that it's better to have a rack um, to try and um, roll the bike around. Uh, people, a lot of people go shopping with it, etc. Like I say, it's not something I've uh, I've tried yet, um, but it's in the it's in the back of my mind whether to go for the rack. I'm not too sure yet. Um, so look, what else I've done? I've added the B17 Brooks saddle. I don't know whether you can see that probably there. This is the one that relieves the pressure um, in the seat when you're riding. I've had a Brooks saddle for many, many years. Uh, this is a new one, uh, but like I say, I've had Brooks saddles for many, many years and they're unbelievable saddles. Um, can't recommend them high enough. And they look absolutely amazing, especially on the Brompton. I'm going to also change the crank teeth numbers as well soon. Um, I'm going to drop them down so that I can, it'll be a lot easier to ride on the hills in the future. The plan is to go on long and short tours. Um, so, like I was saying, the jury's still out on the rack as well, uh, whether to go for that or not, or just use a sack on the back to attach it to the back, like you see on the back packing bikes, um, the bike packing bikes. Today also I've added a B-twin bottle holder. Um, I think that was only, I can't think it was about seven quid, something like that, so nice and cheap actually, but, it fits on really really well nice and easy as well there are um, more expensive options out there this one doesn't move so it's, it's allen keyed in as you can see so but there are models that you can just lift that up and take it off um, which is possibly more beneficial when you're out and about and if you're folding the bike up you can remove it uh, quickly etc but for me in the moment it's, it's ideal nothing worse than not having a water bottle on your bike in my opinion especially if you're out cycling on a warm day like today uh, you need some you know you need your uh, rehydration etc so going down the bike little touches I love on the Brompton is the as you can see here on the brakes I love that touch I just think these small touches make a massive difference um, this here is the block that holds the bag um, various bags available from Brompton. I can see it better there. And there's a little catch here. I've not fitted a bag on this yet. But um, again, I'm just looking at the moment which bag to get. I'm very tempted to get the fully waterproof bag. They are expensive. Um, but for me, it would be ideal for going out on the longer tours to keep everything dry possibly I could go for a different one where it's not as waterproof and just use a Ortley bag inside or stuff sack but um, yeah I'll, I'll see what I'm going to do there not too sure yet um, I've only had the bike a couple of months so I'm, I'm still trying to decide what the best kit is to add to it upgrades and um, what's going to be more useful in the future Obviously, funds are limited, so you know, try and do everything on a budget if you can. These um, these grips I added straight away. Um, in my opinion, they just give you such a better riding position. Various hand positions. I suffer from numb numb hands. I get sore wrists. So for me, the having the options of changing my hand position is is uh, necessary for me. Um, so good though you can just change easy to get the brakes 
I've had drop handle bar bikes before, racing bikes, etc. And I find the hand position is good, but sometimes, you know, I get quite a lot of um, numbness in the wrists and hands. So um, it's important that you've got the options available to change position if you need to. It's a fully steel frame and all steel frames, solid frames. Um, you've got the hinges there. I've rolled them up a little bit. Um, let's see, these are all solid as well. They're brilliant. I've just oiled those actually. Um, I gave it a clean the other day and just oiled some of the areas that need it. Like I said, it is a six speed. Got the uh, Schwabe tyres on, the Marathon Plus on the back. And the Schwalbe Marathon Pacer. Was it Racer? It's a Racer, I think. Yeah. I'm not too sure on the Schwalbe Marathons. I used to have them on my touring bikes. Um, the Marathon Pluses I did. Uh, fantastic tyres. Um, except for one time when I was cycling down a path and a tractor had just been cutting the hedges and I got about three punches within a mile. But that was the extreme, to be honest. Um, but overall, the great tyres. This is a 2018 model Brompton. Um, I bought this second hand off eBay. I'm not too sure how much mileage is left in the tyres. I think there's a fair bit yet, though. Um, so, but yeah, I got this off eBay. Uh, they are around. Maybe a little bit pricey at the moment um, because they're quite difficult to get hold of. Bikes have gone through the roof in prices and also, you know, the availability is so difficult to get hold of um, good bikes now. Um, there are alternatives to the Brompton. There's other various folding bike models available at um, various price ranges. But, yeah, absolutely love it. I'm, I'm pleased with the condition as well. Like I said, I've only had it a couple of months. Um yeah it's been it's been well looked after it'll get a lot of use and overall yeah i'm very happy with it hope you enjoyed the uh, quick tour around the brompton if you like the videos uh, please like and subscribe and um, also comment it'd be great to chat to you out there so yeah until the next video take care happy cycling